What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. In the last video, we took on Michigan. Are going to be the best team in the country. Hard-fought game. Our defense played well, but as you can see, our offense just couldn't get anything going. Their defense really shut us down. Got a lot of pressure put on the quarterback, and it was just tough going. But that's okay. I'm over, I'm perfectly fine losing by a couple touchdowns to maybe the best team in the country. So today, we're going to take on Utah State. Now, they're 2-0, and and you look at their stats. Their stats look pretty solid. You look at their roster, their overall talent, a little bit better than what we have, so it should be interesting to see what happens. I've done a little scouting on them. Their playbook is a little bit of everything, ace, eye, gun, whatnot. They run 60-40 split on the run-pass ratio, and they're a 4-3 team. But as usual, it all depends on where their impact players are at. So before we get into that game, let's go to NC's recruiting. And it looks like we didn't take too big of a hit off of our loss. Just looking here, it's either everybody stayed the same or went up except for this guy. So let's just go up to the very top. We got quarterback Tony Hamilton. Looks like we're in still good shape there. Going up against Tennessee for him. Strong safety, Dustin Longshore. Good shape there. And we went down for him. Looks like us and Iowa flipped. Rodney Anderson, wide receiver. It's us in Tennessee. Looks like we're in good shape there. Wide receiver Rashad Black. We're at the top of his list. We lost and we went up to the top. We're in good shape there. Looks like we're probably putting more points into him than Virginia Tech is. Tackle right at the top of the list for Michael Miller. Of course, we got a positive pitch there. Here we got Trent Skinner, middle linebacker. We're number one for him, and we're still trying to figure out what he likes, but we haven't seen a negative pitch yet, which is good. Jason Booker. Looks like we're in good shape there right at the top of the list. Eric Joseph, guard. Ah, there you go. We got a positive pitch. That's a good thing. Looks like we got a very good chance of getting him, but looks like it's us and I won pretty much everybody else tied with us for that second spot. And the rest of these guys, we didn't even go after. So I'm not going to change anything on the recruiting front. There's no need to. Looks like we're in good shape across the board. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Top 25 polls. There's not a whole lot to see here. Doesn't affect us. Heisman Watch doesn't affect us either, but we can check it. Blake Mitchell, he's still playing in this game. This is like the season three. He must have been a sophomore in that first season. South Carolina, LSU, Nebraska, Michigan, Miami, just a bunch of players that doesn't affect us. Players of the week, I don't care. Let's go to conference standings to check out our team information screen. We can go to ours. Again, Scott McBride is out for the next two months. We're kind of making up for that by playing a little more 4-2-5 against some spread sets to compensate for that. But otherwise, we're still doing our normal stuff. Bo Davis didn't do a whole lot in that last game. And to be honest, all the stats, the offensive guys at the bottom here, is not going to show a whole lot because we didn't do anything against Michigan. Therefore, it pretty much stayed the same from our first game. But Drummer still has over 100 yards a game. Morgan, his numbers went down. That was one thing I wish I would have done a little bit better was try to get him the ball. I try not to force it to these players, at least to receivers. You could do that with running backs. All you have to do is just hand the ball off to them. For wide receivers, that's kind of tough. Defensively, though, Abdullah is playing really well this season. Got 10 tackles, leading the league or leading the team in interceptions. Good to see the sophomore do all of that. Now we can go over to Utah State in the WAC. They got a player out, a middle linebacker. Looks like their quarterback is playing well. And their leading rusher and receiver is the running back, I guess. That's interesting. He's kind of doing everything for him. Hopefully that means they're going to throw a little bit more than usual. I don't know. We'll see. Looks like they got a defensive player, both leading tackles and in interceptions. Sort of like Abdullah. Okay. Let's talk about our playbook a little bit now. And my coach's notes, and I hope a lot of people like that. I want to try to start doing that for every Dynasty game. Just kind of give you my thoughts. It's hard to give you my thoughts right after the game. I like to wait and think about it and kind of see what I've done because you're going through all the emotions of the game. It's best to wait a day or just at least a little bit to calm down and kind of get a sense of what went right and what went wrong. But I mentioned in the coach's notes 
about I wanted to make a couple of different changes, not some wholesale stuff. So let's talk about a couple things. I've switched a few formations out with a few other things. I want to get more vertical in the past game. Now, if you go back and look at our top two receivers, Clark and Morgan, they're both really big dudes. I don't need them to be doing a lot of short stuff all the time. They, I need to take advantage of their height and their weight and try to go over the top with them some. The same with my fullback. We're still going to keep doing that if we can. But I think we need to get more vertical. I feel like I just haven't been doing that enough only if I see cover zero. Otherwise, we're just staying pretty short. So I want to stretch the field a little bit. I got a couple different ways we're going to, I'm going to try to do that, and I'll try to explain that when we get to the game where the situation arises. I added a slot. I won't go straight to Pro Twins. Let's talk about this for a minute. I, I picked a slot because it gives me another 11 personnel look. I only had one at the time, or maybe two, and I wanted an extra one. But there's two really good deep ball plays in this formation that I want to use. I think it's going to help stretch the field a little bit. Pro Twins, I had both Pro Normal and Pro Twins, but I didn't need both. I realized I was using both for the exact same thing, so I just, that was just like a wasted slot for me. So I got rid of Pro Normal. I also got rid of I Normal. I kept Strong Normal. It's the same situation. I was using I Normal and Strong Normal for the exact same plays, more or less, and there was just no point in me doing that. I picked Strong Normal over I Normal because it had an extra play action play that I liked. It's got a good little West Coast concept in there that I like. And the I normal formation doesn't have either, or at least good enough for what I want. And I can still do all of my run plays at a strong normal. I can even do a little fullback over at a strong normal. So I, that's why I stuck with strong normal. So that's the reason why I, I took four 21 personnel sets and just got and picked two of them, two that I'm going to use the most. So I picked these two. Gun two back slots the same. Normal's the same. I added gun wide trips. This is a more of a vertical formation. There's not a whole lot of easy short stuff compared to like trips over. I realized with trips over, the vast majority of it is short stuff. You can hit deep under the right conditions. Wide trips is a lot more deep, a lot more comebacks, goes, post, and such. To go along with my deep ball philosophy, or at least I'm going to try to implement, is that my quarterback, Bo Davis, his strength is throwing it deep. He's got 88 on the throw power, so we want to try to take advantage of that. And gun spread is still in there. And we can look at the audibles. I always forget to... Normally, I don't have to use these. But again, I picked a bunch of deep ball stuff. Now, you may be asking, hey, why do I have seamers in seam attack? And you've probably never seen me use these before. I've been playing around with them a little bit, and I think I figured out how to use them pretty well. We'll see how that goes, though. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and take on Utah State. The Aggies, I believe. All right, we got somebody in trouble. And it's Andrew Myers. Okay. Look at our interest bar. For the last two seasons, I've wanted that thing to go down, but we couldn't do anything about it because nobody got in trouble. Here's your chance to lower the bar a little bit. Now, Myers is like my number three skill guy. So it's not a, a huge, huge loss if he doesn't play today. I want to go back and look at our schedule. I want him definitely to miss today. And Florida State, I'd like to think we could go down to Tallahassee and beat them. I'm guessing that's probably not going to happen. So I think it's best to get him ready for the Duke game. So I want to suspend him for these next two games. I think we'll be okay without him today. Hopefully, knock on wood. So what we're going to do, and we can look at his infraction. Skip it classes is not something that we as a team tolerate. We treat academics just as important as football as long as I am around. He's got great player discipline, yet he gets in trouble. That's why the whole discipline rating such, that's don't worry about any of that. I just think it's all random. And this is a good example of it. So if we want to lower that bar. I want to suspend it for two games, like I mentioned. And that lowered it quite a bit. I don't want to do more than that because I would like to have for the Duke game because that's a winnable game for us. So let's just do two games. That still gives us plenty. We got 33 points left to use this season. I'd like to use them maybe on another guy down the road if the opportunity arises. So with that being said, let's take on the Aggies. I'm afraid that quarterback may give us fits today. I don't know what the roster looks like. We'll look at it here in a minute. I never look at opposing rosters 
up until I play him in the game. I never do that much scouting. I'll do it when the game starts. Looks like they won the toss. And we'll go here and let's check out their roster. One thing we need to do first, let's go to formation subs. Let me think here. I probably want, I want, I want Morgan in the slot. I want Morgan in the slot. I think he'll get the more touches here. We're good there. We're good here. We're good there. Here, um, what I may do, I may leave that as is. I don't know. We'll just see how that goes. Uh, that's still okay, and we're still okay here. We're going to use the tight end sub package there. Okay. Let's check out their roster. And there you go. They got an impact quarterback that can run the ball. So that's going to give us some fits today. Now, what's interesting is look at the top center. Starts at quarterback and kickoffs. Does that mean he can kick the ball? That's hilarious if he can. Halfbacks. Everybody's in the 70s. Let's look at their catch. Yeah, good. Look, look at that. 82 catch for that halfback. He's a true junior. That means he is a recruit. He's a created player in this dynasty. I've never seen a halfback with 82 catch. Am I missing something? One, two. I mean, we got true juniors on our team, don't we? I'm trying to think who would be a true junior. Uh, no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he was a true freshman. Maybe he's a true freshman in the game at the beginning. So maybe he's not a creative player. C creative recruit, I should say. Either way, fullback, 78, 84, 76, 72. Nothing great at wide receiver. So they're, yeah, not a whole lot of tight end either. 74 is not terrible. So it looks like their quarterback is their one impact guy. You look at their offensive line, nothing to get excited about. They run a 4-3 defense, so they got 72 and 74 on the ends. 78 and 76 at tackle. That's really good for them. Wow, true sophomore at 78. Good for them. Junior. Yeah, that's not bad for a WAC conference defensive line. Outside linebacker, 76. Their middle linebacker is out, but it's not a really big drop-off. There's a drop-off in speed. I'm guessing this guy's smarter, and he is. That's why his... Overall, it's just the same as the as this guy. Right outside linebacker, really fast. I'd love to have either one of these guys. 82 speed, that'd be great at outside linebacker in my system. Corner, they got an impact guy. So what I may try to do is stay away from him some if I can. That's kind of hard to do at times. But there's a huge drop off after that. So I may try to attack the right side of the field of the passing game and with the run game if I wanted to. Just to force this guy to do a lot of work. Free safety, nothing special. He's kind of slow. And their strong safety is nothing special. They got a terrible kicker and a terrible punter. So it looks like attack the right side of the field a little bit. A little bit more than usual. Otherwise, you're going to see some new stuff. I want to get a little more vertical. The run game will should stay the same. So the quarterback can run the ball, so we're not going to do any blitzing. But since he's a quarterback, um, it's possible they may throw a bit more than usual. I don't know. They may be balanced. You just don't know if the one impact guy on offense is a quarterback. We're going to run the ball. It's a good stop there. That is second and seven. They're going with a big set. I'm going to stick in four three quarters. I'm going to guess that they will throw it. Could be a mistake here. Nope, they're going to pass it. Good open field tackle there. Third and long, what I want to do, we'll try Cloud. We're not going to blitz him because he'll just run away from it. We're going to run like a little 3-3 set up here. Ah, and he gets the first. I sat there, and he still got the first. I'm going to take a chance on the zone blitz. I think they're going to do some play action stuff today. Hopefully, I guess correctly. Nope, they're going speed option out of the game. Fumble. Dang it, he gets it. 
Oh, it's going to be one of those days on, on defense. Everything's going right for him. We'll do quarters. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Do an over front. There he goes again. It's just. He's going to give us fits. Now, I know some of you may be saying run more spy. The spy plays don't work all that great, in my opinion. I think the, the guy who spies doesn't do a very good job of it. Let's do another zone blitz. Like, I could try some spy, but I've just never felt like it's worked well. Very fortunate they only got six yards on that one. Like, we can go here and try... There's a spy gold. Second and five. We can have a spy Ball right there going in that direction. I don't know if it's going to work, though. I'm not used to calling this play. Thankfully, he overthrew it. We're going with a bigger set. Um, I want to try... Double defensive end spy and see what happens. And they may just run the ball here. Nope, oh, they're going to throw it. Intercept that. Big play right there. That confused them somehow. I don't know why. We can go back and look. I don't know what forced him to want to make that throw. Like he, he was feeling a little heat right there, but still. I don't know. That's just a bad throw by him. I'm fine with it. Okay, let's do our... No, we can't do our sub package here because our... Well, we, yeah, we got a backup fullback. It's not bad. He can he can block for us at least. They'll take over at We're going zone. Driver. We'll just go to the right side. I want to get on the right hash a little bit more today. Get about seven yards, not a whole lot. Gain of four on the play. We're going to go halfback out. They're going man. He's coming down. This may be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Nope, we're going to do that. Intercepted. That's all-time bad. That's a that's perfect defense. We go back and look at this. They went spy right here. I don't... That's a perfect way to stop that pass. Because I was going to go to my dig route. And he got stuck. Well, no wonder he had no chance. He got stuck on that guy. Anderson got right in the way. Okay. It's third and six. I guess we're going to go halfback corner. Third we're going six. zone. I hope Ball Anderson can make this catch. If they, Well, let's just see what happens. Great throw. Wow, that was perfect. Spot on. We'll take that all day. Let's do slam. The going man. I want to go to the right. I prefer it. That's just great defense. I forgot Griffin's in there. I did check that. Um... Uh, Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's just keep him in there. That's fine. Right hash. Not much out of that one. Let me think here. Let's do our tight end slot there. I want to try. Seam attack. We're going man. So here's what we're going to do. Who's on who? We're going to do that. do that. Great little play there. Now let's break this down a little bit. I brought Anderson over just in case it went cover zero. We're going to do a little... I'm going to use a little tool here. We're going to go here and here. I was going to use... I motioned Anderson over this way. And just because I wanted a one-on-one -on -one situation with Morgan in case it went cover zero. But as you can see here, they did not. They went with a cover one. So my lone man beater underneath is Drummer. Just doing a little out wrap. That's good against man or zone. And that's what happened. 
just threw the hem as hard as I could. I had to keep backing up. That's that halfway my fault. And I think we got the first down. That's a good little play there. First and ten. I want to try PA boot. Again, we're going to get kind of vertical and get aggressive with it. We're going man. This will either go to... Let's see. Can you make it? Ah, drop it. Hey, he got hit when he tried to catch it. That was a good try, though. They went cover one. You see the cover one free safety on the top left. So I threw it kind of hard. Ended up being, it was going to be a touchdown. So this safety, he's too slow to get over there. That's why I was kind of, I need to move my cursor over. That's why I was kind of hoping to get a big play right there, and it just didn't work out. But that's okay. That was a good shot. Good try. And they're bringing both inside guys, so we're going to go with the audible. We're doing that, so we're going to go to Morgan over the top. And I got hit as soon as I threw it. Dang it, I was so, I delayed on it. All right, it's third and 10. I'm going to call direct again, and we're going to have a manageable fourth down instead. Who's on who? He's doing that, so we're going to go to our left. We're going to bring him over, get that impact guy out of the way. Pick up a first down. Good play there. Where are we? We are on the... 17, eight, or on the 19. I don't mind trying this. We could do deep outs. We're going man. This will probably go to Morgan or uh, Clark on the right. Ooh, they're bringing safety down. And we'll go to Morgan. Yeah, I think he got hit. I think my quarterback got hit as soon as he threw it. Otherwise, he was supposed to go in the end zone. No, he got it off at time. He just short-armed it. That's okay. So we're on the seven. I need to, I don't like that. I want to go, let's go formation sub. I want to put a drummer back in right here. I'd rather do that. We're on the seven. Let's just do an off tackle play. We're going zone. Please don't shift hard to the right. Hey, we'll take it. I'll leave it as is. And we'll get six points. All right, good little drive. I'm all happy about that. We had to convert a long third down to make it work. So that's a good start. We're up a touchdown. We got a minute left in the quarter. We'll kick an extra point. Ten plays, eighty yards, ten yard clip. Not bad. We'll do another high kick. This is gonna go to the sideline. He should fair catch it though. Let's go with four two five. I want to do this prevent four. Where's it at? I want to do this prevent four. First and ten. Ball on the third I like that one a little bit better than the other one. No, I picked the wrong play. I didn't like any of that. I picked the wrong play. I'm an idiot. Very fortunate they didn't get much out of that. I literally picked the wrong play. I think I accidentally done an, a, a fake one. If that makes sense. I picked one of those you know, the L2 plus whatever, they go to the one below it. That's if you're playing against a human opponent. You want to hide which plays you're calling. And I don't know why I jumped there. Just two bad plays on my part were still a third down situation somehow. We'll go with a 4-4. I don't want to do goal line. I just, I don't trust it. It's, either, it's an all or nothing situation for me. If I go goal line. Wow, he still climbed over all that. Picked up an easy first down. 
They're sticking with a bigger set. It's a good catch there for eight yards, eight, nine yards. And that's end of the quarter. We're up a touchdown, but they're driving on us. I'm going to do a zone blitz. I'm just going to take a chance. This is like a perfect time for them to do play action. Now watch them run it. Yeah, they're going off shot the opposite side, of course. What was Schroeder doing? What was that? He went after the pitch man. Oh, that's so bad. Mm. That hurts my heart. He went for the pitch guy. Nice dang it, Schroeder. That was so dumb. Well, so much for that lead. So if we look, if we look at their stats, they're running the ball a whole lot more than they're throwing it. So we're going to do a more cover one man type stuff. Because right now our zone's getting annihilated. And that one play, oh, that looks so bad. No, oh, that's so bad. Okay, let's get back on offense. See if we can get our lead back. Maybe Clark can do something here. Not a whole lot. I want to try PA boot again. We're going man. I'm going to leave him as he is over there and see. Can he get over there? Nice! What a throw! What a catch! You go back and look at this. This is nasty. He aimed it towards the sideline. Back shoulder throw. Mm. Great play. Let's think here. I want to do another direct. I'm just trying to stay on the right side of the field. Because I want to attack the right side a little bit more and it's a bit easier if I just stay over here. Get a first down there. Where are we? We are on the 22. Trying to think of some plays. Uh, let's do a play action from here. Let's see. I want paying attention there. We're going zone. We're going cover two. Six points. Good play. We'll take it. I'm all for that. And my phone keeps going off. Good touchdown, though. That's a good throw. Cover two. And, okay, let's get an extra point here. Well, that's a quick drive. Like I said, we're going to try to get vertical on them today. Their safeties aren't all that great. Their secondary isn't all that good in general outside of their one corner. But they went cover two, so I went to my go ramp there. Uh, let's do cover one man. We're going to run the ball. Ah, I took a terrible angle. Oh, that's so bad. He just blew right by me. Oh, their, their offense is going to give us fits today. Another run play. That's a good stop there, though. Thankfully, he's a little bit of delay in that run. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. I'm going to do quarters, but and nine. if I was them, I'd probably still run the ball. 
I'm gonna back off of the zone blitzes. Look at this. I should have just stayed with cover one man. They're just determined to run it. Now watch them go play action here. Told you. Almost intercepted. I tried my best to get over it. Second and 10. Let's go with a 4-2-5. Cover two man. I normally don't do much cover two. It's a good stop right there. So it's third and long. Um, I don't know. We're going to try it again. I feel safer going with Cloud and doing this right here. Oh, he dropped it. Now, they're in good position to go for it again. And they're going to. I'm just going to... I just do the same thing. I don't feel comfortable doing anything else. Ball on the 37 yard line. Defense. Defense. Love to get a stop here. Let's go, fellas. Intercept that. Interception by you know who? The man, the myth, the legend, Abdullah. Just a great play. It got tipped. There was like five guys around the ball. Let's get our little speech to run it back to the outside and stick on the right hash. Again, I want to take the right side of the field a little bit more. Let's go over here. Uh-oh, he may be gone. Go, drummer, go! Six points, take it to the house. No flags. No flags. All right, that's a good start. Get a little cushion on the scoreboard. One juke, and that's all it took. So we will get back on defense. Let's kick an extra point first. It's the second quarter. You never know what's going to happen. Our defense is doing okay. If we can hold them to more third and longs, so I'll be more happy. Less nervous. I'm going to go back to one high. We're going to stick to one high until it's obvious they got to throw it. Do our under front. High snap. Ooh. He was wide open, just a bad throw. We'll do another cover one this time out of four forces. They're going to their big set. Ace big. I am not know that they're going weak twin tight end. I was never a fan. Uh-oh. Ooh, went out of bounds, thankfully. I was never a big fan of the ace big formation in this game. I just never thought it was done well. There's not a lot of good formation or plays in it for me. Pick up an easy eight yards there. I don't trust them. I'll still stick with cover one. They're going to throw over the top on me. I don't blame them if they do. Sack. Oh, you got to be kidding. He was so close to getting sacked, and he made a perfect throw. They're just really good. They're going to get their yards on me today, I'm afraid. Halfback direct. It's a good stop. It's a good hit by Allen. I am going to do 
quarters for now. You would think they would throw it. Nope, they're going to run the ball. And boo. So close, I thought he was going to go right by me. So third and seven. Uh, hmm. Let's just do cloud. Intercept that. Just as well. Good tip by our free safety, Greco. That's good defense right there. Kick a field goal. You can have them all day. So there's a minute and a half to go in the first half. I'd love to use every bit of it and get a touchdown before half. Perfect kick. Had another 30 yards on it. That's one thing I need to look into. I don't I don't see enough kicks to really notice, but I always feel like CPU kicking is they do a really good job. Like they rarely miss kicks. But again, I don't see enough of them to really judge. All right, let's see if Drummer can do something with this. Not a whole lot there on the left hash. Let's see if we can get down the field a little bit. We're going zone. This is going to go somewhere over the middle. Let's see. Good catch by Morgan. Good play there. We can, we can try this again. We can go halfback out. We're going man. So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of my dig route getting stuck, or we can just go to the left here. Go, Morgan! That's going to get picked. Oh, what a catch! Oh, that's just a good one-on-one -on -one jump ball situation. That kid's a stud. What a ball player. I told you we was going to go deep today. And hopefully going forward. Okay, we are still in the middle of the field. The clock is running, so we're going to let it do so. I think they're going zone. And we're going to go right. Just making sure. I think they were in zone. No, yep, they are going zone. Running as much clock as we can before we get the ball back to them. Good blocking all around right there. So this offense is a lot of fun. I, I just realized how much fun it is to go deep if you can. And you haven't even seen a couple things I was going to show you. Like, I'm thinking about hitting some go rounds to get some cover two from drop back and not play action. Hopefully you'll get to see that situation today. You got to see on that play action touchdown from before, but it's a whole lot easier to do that all play action. Okay, they got 41 seconds. That's plenty of time for them to do something. Another high kick. I think they're going to go to hand. I could be dead wrong, but they're going with the big set. If I was them, I'd probably go to half. Oop. I was way out of position at free safety, so I had to run back. Why? Okay, we'll go cover one again. This may be bad on my part. They keep going with this big set. I don't expect them to really go deep on us off of it. I spoke too soon. They're trying to attack deep. That's a good stop by the corner. Now they're going with the goal line all together. If we could somehow stop them here, I'd love to call a timeout and get the ball back and maybe try something. If we can get the ball back. I, I, I open pursued so badly there. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have used the speed button. They got plenty of time, 27 seconds. Only 50 yards to go, 51. And a by you know how! 
Golly, I'm all over the place. Abdullah is just an awesome ball player. So we got 23 seconds. So here's what we're going to do. I know exactly the play we're going to run. Let's see what happens here. That's not the best angle. We're right in the middle of the field. This play right here works like a charm in the middle of the field. We're going zone. We're going to have to call a timeout after this play unless he gets a touchdown somehow. Big play by Green. Call a timeout. Let's look at this play. This was nasty. So this is deep outs at an A slot. You got two out. Let's go back here. There we go. Let's use my little fancy tool. You got an out route like this. Out route like that. You got a post. That's a perfect post. <laughs> then you got a little hitch, you know, step right there. Now, when you do that, and let's see if I can get rid of that. There we go. We can zoom back in. My zone beaters are going to be my post and this guy right here. The little hitch. So I'm just kind of reading this area all together. So when I noticed they went cover three and this guy was moving over, look how wide open he was. One of them is going to be open. That's just a great zone combination of a post and a hitch dig. So that looked all good there. So we had 17 seconds. Let's go half that corner. I may have to call another timeout here. Uh, let's, just in case. No, nope, we're going to go cover two. Ah, oh, dang it. I should have called the... I shouldn't have mean the juke. So we got 11 seconds. We got seven. We're on the seven-yard line. I'm going to... I know what play I'm going to call. We're going to go offensive line. I'll, we're going to go here. We're going to go quick slants. Go man. We're going zone. That's okay. Zone, this is either going to go to Anderson or Green. If I don't convert this, then... I'll just probably kick a field goal. And we'll probably just call a timeout here. We'll call a timeout and just kick an extra point or a field goal. I'm okay with that. I could try to go win. And right, let's just go ahead and do that. I don't mind it. Let's just go for the touchdown. We're going zone 4 3. Let's stay aggressive. We're going to go right. Six points. Good call. I like the aggressiveness. I like we're just going downfield. Downfield, downfield. And there's nothing downfield. We'll go to somebody underneath. I, I feel like, you know, when you're doing short stuff, I, I'm a big air raid guy. I love the West Coast. I love all of what they're trying to do there. But I love the attack mentality of what I'm doing now. I'm doing a lot of vertical stuff. I, in the, years ago, I called it the vertical spread. And that's just me just passing, going deep off of that. Now, I'm not doing as much spread stuff today because I'm doing a lot of two-back sets and such. Under center stuff as well. But as you can see, our vertical passing attack is doing quite well. 364 yards. Only 13 attempts. For 228 yards. That's a good clip. Big thing here, turnovers. That's why we are ahead of the way we are. I want to go look at the individual stats. 10 of 13, 228, one touchdown. Looks good for Bo. Rushing, 136 yards. Pretty good average. Four touchdowns already for Drummer. I guess he's got the one passing touchdown, Bo does. And Morgan, I'm glad he's getting his yards and his touches. Five receptions, 147 yards. I'd love to see him get a touchdown. It just hasn't happened yet. It will eventually. And we get the ball start the second half. Utah State is lined up for the kickoff. Clark back deep to return. I'm going to let that one go. That's not going to do much for us. Middle of the field. Let's fake this. Pretend like no... Uh, let's... Um, Let's do a toss play from this formation. Normally, I'd love, I wouldn't mind doing deep outs right now, but let's just stick with this. Now they're doing that. Let's go to our left. Let's get the impact guy out of the way. 
That's good defense right there. We're going to still get five yards out of it. Number 40, but that's a good play. Five yard gain on the play. Let's go with... Let's do a P read from here. They're going man. That's kind of what I was hoping. They're going man nickel. Who's going to be on who? I may run the ball. Hmm. Ooh, I should have went deep. Dang it. You go back and look. Both safeties came down. Dang it. The only downside to the RPO plays in this game is it's really quick. There's no drag with it. I wish there was just like another half a second. You can really read it. That was my fault. I just saw this guy covering him, and I knew that linebacker was going to be on a drummer. As long as my center was going to block him, I knew I was going to get decent yards at it. And we did. But dang it, we could have went over the top up there to Clark, and that probably would have been six points. That's okay. We're on the left hash steal. I want to go to the right side a little bit more. Let me think. Uh, let's try. He's still kind of gassed. Do another toss play to the right, hopefully. We're going man, just don't shift hard to the right. I'm okay with that. Bring him over. He he may score. He may no, he's gonna get caught. That guy right there. Now let's do play action off of that. I'm gonna go back here, and he's a little bit gassed. Let's just give him a bit of a break across the board. Put Griffin in. And we'll I'll try to remind myself to put him back in later. Let's do PA rollout. They're going zone. This will go to somebody on the right. Just depending on the coverage. Cover two. Intercepted. Nope, six points. The safety just bit on it. He tried to go for the swan. It didn't work. And this is the offense I should have been running all along. But that's how you learn things. That's a good shot right there. Did you go back and look at this? Zoom in. Cover two, I'm going over the top because it's a one-on-one -on -one situation with that safety. Great. It's a perfect throw. But the safety bit on it. He went over. He over-pursued a little bit, honestly. He took a... He just didn't do well with it. But he's not very smart either. That's why Schroeder, my starting strong safety... He's just not very smart. He's just a dumb young freshman. And that's why he bet on that touchdown from earlier. And that strong safety's not very good. He's slow and not very smart, so you got to take advantage of those situations. And thankfully, we've done that today. Okay, we're up 32 points. I'm, I need to start thinking about putting some other people in. I may give them like one more drive or something. We'll just see. Because we got bigger fish to fry. They're loving this big set right here. Ace big again. It's got some okay pass plays. Actually, the run game, I've just never been a fan of. It's a good stop there. But they're predetermined to use it. So whatever floats their boat. Second and seven. Ball we'll go the quarters at a 4-3. Interception! Oh my gosh! It, when it rains, it pours. I got right in front of it. That little play action had a delay to it. That was either a P.E. read or I don't know what that was. He, he got stuck. But I saw that backside crosser come, so that was a pretty obvious thing to do there. We're going to stay here. We're going to do PA tight end choice. We're going zone. We're going to go play action. I always like to go play action off the turnovers. This will go to Green or to Clark. Going cover two. Wow, what a throw. Jeez, look at this. That was a tight window. The defense actually done a pretty good job. That's why he hesitated. Don't know if you saw that or not. You go over here. No wonder the window was a little bit tighter. Clark was a little bit delayed on his round because he got bunched up a little bit right there. But look at the accuracy. 
right where it needed to be. I'm going to go after that safety as hard as I can some more. Might as well. We're on the 18. That's a little too short for what I was wanting to do. I was thinking about doing one of those seam attacks, but I may back out of that. I wouldn't mind trying deep attack, though. We're going, man. I may... Hmm. I hope they go cover one or two. Yeah, they're going to just do that. And a drop by Anderson. Bo Davis is feeling it right now. I, don't, I haven't looked at his little impact a white orb underneath him, but plus seven. He's just feeling it. We're on the right hash. Let's go. We're kind of close towards the end zone. Let's do a PA read. We're going man 4-3. Depending on this shift, I may just hand it off. I may hand this off. But we could get a block on that linebacker. Yep, good play there. And Griffin's still in the game, I forgot. I'm going to keep him in there because the game's about over with in terms of I was going to put my backups in. Now, what I was wanting to do here, we're going to do wide receiver wing. We're going to do tight end around, see if we can get Morgan in the end zone. Don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try. The blocking has to be spot on. For this to work. And looks like it's going to work. We're going to run some clock here. And he got his touchdown. So good for him. Now we're going to take all those guys out. I'm going to take him out. We're going to put... I don't mind having Clark up there. Anderson. He's the transfer. I guess Coleman is next. And then Morgan. I'm good there. We're good there. I can't... I gotta take Davis out because I don't want him getting hurt, but we don't have anybody here. So going forward, we, all we can do is run the ball because our quarterback can't do anything. But I don't want Bo getting hurt. There's no point the game is over with. So the next quarter and a half is gonna get really boring. So I don't blame you if you walk away now, but this is the time I'd like to practice on some things. I may practice on some run stuff that I don't normally do. But with our quarterback being so bad, I just can't throw the ball. Another high kick. They're doing that. I think they're beyond the point of... And they got a new quarterback in there. Let's see what he can do. 65 speed, so we can go after that guy. We went quarters for now. We'll do our over front. Good tackle there, Al. And yes, Al is short for Allen. So it's cool to control an Allen. We're going to do a little zone blitzing. I like what I'm seeing there. See if Abdullah can get a sack. And then the fourth quarter, we'll put in some backups on defense. I don't know if I got enough to do mass subs. Look at that throw. Wow. That should have been caught. That was a great throw. We're going to do... Oh, yeah, we, we don't have to do this. <laughs> we'll get the sack anyway. That's fine. I completely forgot we don't have to do that safety valve thing on that quarterback. So let me look at something really quick. Now we're going to leave our first stringer in there for now. We'll take out our starters in the fourth quarter. Where we'll be running the ball going forward. And I forgot Drummer's still in there. That's okay. Hopefully. Now, if he had got hurt there, I'd have been really upset. <laughs> All right. I want to do some A-gap stuff. I normally don't do this because I still don't think our offensive line is good enough to handle it consistently. And our top halfback can't handle it because he's too small. Griffin may be able to, though. 
Just nothing there. We can go back and look at it. I should have went right here. I just didn't. That's just my fault. Griffin on the run. No gain on the play. And we got Griffin right there. Or uh, Drummer. Let's do this. Let's do die from here. And of course, we're going to run clock going forward. We're going man. It may be a little bit tougher to go up the gut. But I'm going to leave that as is and run to the left. Maybe I can find a hole up that B gap. He just, he curved it up well. You saw him come through. A little swapping, a little strip exchange right there. Third and seven. I'm just going to do a toss play to Drummer. We're going zone nine. This may not work at all. Again, Sawyer can't do anything, so I'm not even going to attempt to throw. I could do screens. We might try some screens later. We could do some of that. I think he'll be able to handle those at least. The rest of it, uh, no, we're not going to do any deep stuff with him. That's just great defense all around. We'll sky punt that thing. And now let's just go ahead and take out our starters on defense. We need a look. That looks okay. That looks okay. I'm okay with that. Corners, we can get away with it, and we can get away with it. So we could do mass ups on defense. I didn't know if we had enough guys, to be honest. We're going to do second team defense. So that's good news that we could do that. Offensively, we just can't do that at a couple positions yet. Offensive line, we probably can't do it either. So I hope you've liked the offense today. That's what we're going to go with going forward. There's no reason not to because, I mean, if you go back and look. I mean, look, Clark is 6'4", 196. Morgan's 6'1", 212. I mean, we got some big bodies that can go up and make plays. Now, Morgan isn't the tallest, but his size can kind of make up for it. Can he jump? 88 jump. Yes, his jump makes up for any lack of uh, height he has. Then you got our tight end, Green, 6'4", 215. When you got big bodies like that and you got a quarterback with an 88 throw power, it says 95 here, we need to go deep more. And that's just my fault for not realizing that up until this point. Get a high kick here. Hope he'll, he'll fair catch it. He's going out with it. Fumble! Somebody get it! That was dumb. He should have fair caught that. So they are all gassed. Ooh. Let's do an over front with Baxter. For going man, I, I may just have to start throwing a little bit. Let's bring Green over. Get a little extra blocker. That's fumble. Very fortunate we got the ball back. Everybody looks a little gassed. Let's do a halfback screen. I don't know if Griffin can handle it, but they're going zone. We'll just throw it to him. We go ahead and bring this guy over. Surely Sawyer can make this throw. And don't call me Shirley. And that's going to be intercepted. Nope, that's just good defense. Corner done a good job there. Third and forever. And he is gassed. And I'm just going to give it the drummer. Because Griffin, he'll fumble it if I give him the ball. And our quarterback can't throw. So it looks like I have no choice but to do this. I, I like what I'm seeing. If we can get some decent blocks, we may be able to get some yards out of it. This is going to be the last play of the quarter. At least it should be. There we go. He may get blocked right there. He ain't going to. Good run by Drummer. 219 yards. Not bad for three quarters. That one big run helped a lot. That's like a third of it. Just one juke and it's gone. 
we can try a screen from this formation. We're going zone. It's been forever since I've called this play. This is going to go to Anderson. Six points. I forget that it's there. That's half the reason. That's a good goal line play, as you can see. Because that's our goal line formation. That's a little change up from our basic runs. Good to see Anderson make up for that drop from earlier. And back to defense we go. Now, we have no choice. I think we got to stick with the 4-3 going forward. I, we probably could run nickel. I think they put our top corner at the nickel spot, maybe. But we're, we were down a, a guy at corner anyway, so we may just have to stick with 4-3. This is a short kick and off to the left. Now you get to see a bunch of babies out here. It's a good little run. We all thought it was going to be. Four on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Uh, let's just do a one hat of four three. Second and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. Little counter. Somebody get him. Third and two-ish. Third and three. Five yard gain on the play. Let's just do another one high. Third and three. Ball on the 42 yard line. Yeah, I know they're going to this set. Little counter. And he got the first. Just enough. Three yard gain on the play. I don't have the bodies to go 4-4, four, four, I don't think. Yeah, it's a drop-off after our number two guy, so we can't do any 4-4. Four, four. We'll flip all that around. Do our under front. Play action. And a sack. I guess nobody was open. Second in forever. We'll stick in the fourth three because we don't have the nickel to, to do it. Not with our backups out there. I like to bump and run this cat. Nope, couldn't do it. Almost intercepted. And I'm going to stick in quarters again. This time we control. Oh, who's that defensive end? Who's this Moore guy? Look how big he is. I'm going to control him. All right. Force a punt. Drummer's still back there. I may just need a fair catch this to play it safe. I have no reason to score anymore. We'll just... Let that one go in the end zone. I want to try to run up the gut a little bit more if I can. Let's just stick in this formation. We're going zone. I think we have a chance. We're going nickel. Hopefully we can find some crease. So Moore's our starting left tackle who was playing defensive end. That was interesting. Linebacker plugged it up perfectly. Just went right on through. He done what he was supposed to do there. Uh, I still got, I'm okay with all that. Let's give Griffin a toss play. We'll run the ball some more. Everybody and their brother shifting that way. Let's just keep it as is. I think they're running zone, and they are. Hopefully that linebacker goes in instead of out. I have to go to the outside and just perfect defense. So we are on the left hash. Third and ten. I'm not going to do anything goofy. Let's just run the ball with Drummer. Do another outside run. We're going dime. If I'd have known that, I would have went up to gut. I don't have an audible for it. That's okay. 
We'll just toss it to him. Hopefully he doesn't get hurt. But Griffin was gassed. He would have fumbled it. If I would have handed him the ball off again. That's just good defense. I was trying to cut up the field a little bit. They closed the gap pretty quickly. What punt? We may get the ball back one more time. Get it down to a few seconds. Fair catch it. Thank you. 39-yard punt. Fair catch made at the 37-yard line. We'll go quarters. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Good throw. I had to go over to my side of the field to cover. I had to let somebody else take this guy over. Wow, they're they were averaging 600 yards of offense a game up to this point. So that's a really good job holding them to under 300. I thought in, in that first quarter they was really going to give us fits all game, but we forced enough turnovers and stops. I think he got the first. Number 17, the ball carrier. It's amazing how, play. listen, if we could get the ball back, I may try some toss plays, like real toss plays. I don't think we're going to get the ball back, but I can never get them to work, but I've just seen the CPU make it work more than usual. I need to figure that out, what it is. Maybe it's me, maybe it just does a good job against quarters. That was a bad throw. He had the forces receiver inward. Everybody has gas there. We're probably going to put more back in there. No, nope, Wilson, whoever that is. I guess he's one of our defensive ends. Want to bump around this cat? Don't do it. QB draw. Number eleven. Third and five. Five yard gain. Let's do something a little weird, a little crazy. Let's do a fire two. I want to go after this cat. Ball on the forty-eight yard. That's a good pickup of the blitz. And, okay, perfect example. A buddy of mine, we was talking about this last night in the comment section. He told me I need to take the, this guy over more. And what happened? I took him over, and I told him it's a hit or miss with me. I'm just not very good in the open field in a situation like this. So I took him over. I tried to get in front of it, and, I mean, I guess that's a good attempt. Maybe not. <laughs> I just, I, again, I'm not very good at it. I just need to practice it more. So it stinks they got a touchdown. But what we can try to do is one of those real toss plays. There's also counter plays that can kind of work. Counter weak specifically. The guard pulls quicker out of those plays. Then the normal counter plays, like counter lead. We're going to go with an onside kick. We're going to let that one go. Here we go. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. So, speaking of penalties, I don't know if you've noticed. Remember, we talked about this in the previous game. Everything went up to 70%, and I still haven't seen hardly any penalties these last two games. So, I don't know if that helped or not. We just haven't seen enough of them. But, again, I really don't want to touch until the end of the season. Just get a full gauge. And he's still gassed. How is he still tired? Whatever. Uh, is the actual toss play in here? Strong toss. Now let's do strong toss. First and, two. and we're on the right side of the field. I forgot. I was going to flip it. Nope, we're going to leave it as is. All right. Let's move this guy over. And that's what I normally see. Now, we may get a few yards out of it, but not a whole lot. Somebody always comes through. It doesn't matter what happens. Somebody comes through like that. That's why you don't see me run the normal toss, because the blocking isn't very good. 
and I'm gonna let the clock roll. All right, game over. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad to see the offense take a little different direction, hopefully for the better. We can check out some stats. We didn't do anything in the second half. It's just kind of the way it turned out. We just ran clock most of it. 244 yards rushing, 283 yards passing. I'll take that any day of the week. No sacks, and we just forced turnovers on them all day. A lot of that was fun interceptions. We just put their quarterbacks in bad positions and was able to pick a few plays off. And there's no point looking at individual stats. Nothing really changed from the second half to the first. I mean, Drummer had another big run. He ended up being the MVP of the day. It's good to see him having a little bounce back game. And good to see Morgan. He didn't get any receptions in the second half. He didn't get a reception, a receiving touchdown, but he did get the one rushing touchdown on the goal line. So it's good to see him get in the end zone. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know who we got next. It's, oh, it's Florida State. They're ranked. At least I think they'll be ranked going into next week. That'll be a lot of fun. It's been a while since I played in Tallahassee. We're going to be with Myers, but that's okay. As you can tell, this offense today, I think we'll be okay without him. I still like to have him on my offense because we can still get very vertical and aggressive with him from like pro twins and stuff. So I'm going to try to do that. Also add a gun to back slot. So we will take on... So somehow, Florida State hasn't even played a game yet. I assume they're going to play today. How can they go up to week four? They must have had three straight bye weeks. Four. No, they we haven't finished this week yet. Either way, they, for whatever reason, they haven't played yet. But they're they're really talented across the board. Should, it should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.